We're doing a luau thingy. I mean, not uh, whatever. Just, you know, you take some of those long sticks and you create your kebab skewers. Yeah. So, I'm preparing the chicken and I'm just going to do all of it, both bags, because yeah. I said it was discounted, so it's probably a day old or whatever, so. And what do you got in there? What's that, what's that mysterious white liquid? Liquid. What is that? It is some of this oil here. Yes. And some half and half. Oh, half and half. This time we're doing half and half instead of heavy whipping. Instead of heavy cream, I mean. And it's going to be sweet. Cook it over the fire. So I'm going to be putting some coconut blossom sugar in there. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. Hold on, we have our pineapple here, right over yeah. here, with our luau thingy, and, um, I have this, I'm just thinking, uh, it might break down the chicken too much overnight, That's and what then I was thinking. it would become too difficult to work with to cook on the little sticks. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Ruin the flesh too much, so I'm not gonna use this, I guess. Yeah, boss. Yes. Real action packed here tonight, folks. He's getting real extreme. I think we need some what do we need, boss? Some maple syrup? Oh, damn. It's going to be real sweet chicken. Yeah, extra sweet chicken, boys. Got some of that syrup pouring down in, in there. In fact, now that we've gone that far, let's take a look in here. What we want here is... Just maybe some nutmeg. Which one? Water chestnuts and LA Lucky Jack Fruit. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Where's the uh, uh where's what? Oh, chicken. Chicken, I don't know where you put it. Oh yeah, and there's there's the chicken. And there's the sweet sugary go uh chicken. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And here's our BBQ Tongaroo metal skewers. And here's our bamboo skewers. And uh, we're going to stick some chicken on them. And uh, we got a pineapple, but it's not ripe. It's all fully green. So I guess we're not using that. I don't know. I guess that's about it, unless you have a comment. Uh, I don't know, uh, I just was thinking I would try to use these with this to make some sort of dish. These ingredients. Oh, so instead you want to do some sort of dish? Well, I'm like thinking maybe we could uh, roast this stuff all over the fire. I just don't think that you can um, spear the water chestnuts. You might be able to spear the jackfruit if it's in large enough pieces. So I don't know. Otherwise, we'll have to put it on like some uh, metal mesh or something if we wanted to flame it. Yeah, I mean, whatever you want to do. We don't even have to fire cook it. Although it is a warm day. I what want to fire want? cook it because these ingredients need to be fire cooked for maximum flavors. So. All right. We'll do that. I'll just uh, figure it out. Okay. I'll be genius mode. Okay, so these here products, I didn't realize they're meant to. I, it's the Asian market that supplies restaurants. And so these have been boiled into a state of extreme um, starchiness on purpose. And they aren't supposed to be starchy, they're supposed to be fatty and sweet somewhat. But they've been prepared in these cans to be starchy. And that's not what I was looking for for this particular chicken. Because I made it, you know, I put some coconut sugar on there. 
and starchy with sweet, it would work. But then you know what I have to do, and I don't know if we're ready for this level of bold. Then you have to add like uh, some sort of like you have to add chili pepper and uh, not cumin. What is it? The smoked paprika, for example, with a little bit of chili powder and some like lemon juice, so that you're mixing the flavors of the sweet and the starch with other flavors and then forcing them all to blend but I don't really want to do that right now and that's I, I think I'm just gonna like you were saying just, just, the chicken. Cook, just skewer these chickens and uh, cook them over the fire you know like a savage and then uh, we can throw them on pizza we can do whatever with them we'll figure it out yeah uh, make another casserole type dish maybe maybe yeah Maybe make some rice and chicken or something. Because these, honestly, they boil them so far towards, you know, being starchy that they're approaching rotty starchy. Like, they're almost rotted tasting. Like, this, these taste like olives that are just about to rot. Yeah, that's what that's I was thinking. It's not that good, you know? No, it's not. I want fresh stuff. I don't care. I've already said that before. Now it's on. Oh man, you missed all the naughty stuff. Oh, it's so naughty. It's so hot. So look at that. Oil. Amazing. It's revolutionary. There we go. Oil. Oil Jaya. Then we'll take out our, all of our chicken. We'll just splat it on there. Real lazy like. This is lazy, crazy mode. Maybe even Patrick's lazy. We won't go that far. Ooh. Insane in the membrane. It's a lot of chick. That's a lot of chicken. The gawk. It's all seasoned up right. We couldn't uh, do it outside because it was way too windy. Them windies. And boys. we don't have pine trees to block anything. Yeah, if we had big, juicy pine trees in layers, I think it would really cut the wind down to where you could do it still. We just uh, have been uh, laid low by the evils of the world. Hmm. Alright, so we'll just put that in the oven. I'll just move it around a little. Remember, if you're Jewish, after the year, like, 2016, you always have to wash your utensils um, before you use them. Like, freshly out of the drawer, even if they're clean, you gotta wash them and then use them. Just rinse them in water that's, you know, clean. Right. Yeah, you gotta even them out, I guess. And make sure all that chunks of chicken flesh are putridly fleshy. All you vegans out there. Delicious. Delicious. And make sure they're unfolded, you know? You yeah. don't want them getting away with mischief. Hey, you want your shrimp unfolded too. No, I'm just kidding. Right? <laughs> You're unfolding your shrimp. I can't get my shrimp to unfold. I, the guy on YouTube told me. You're supposed to unfold your shrimp before you cook them? Yeah. <laughs> Mess with people. You cleverly cut them so it looks like you're unfolding them and then you mess with a bunch of people? That would be hilarious. I love to mess with people, make them believe in my cooking videos, and then on April 1st, I have the excuse that it's April 1st so I can do what I want. Everyone knows the rule. No matter how devious you are on April 1st, it's okay. <laughs> right? Well, n not not murderously devious. Well, but... I, devious isn't murder. Yeah, I know. That's not the right word for I'm just devious. pointing it out for all those murderously uh, murderous people out there. They might think feel, devious. think they're devious, but that's not, that's what that's what not murderous. That, that, yeah. Come on now, like Deviant Art, the world's most popular image side back in those live peoples. My Little Pony is murder. <laughs> Your mom is murder. There's a lot of that on there. Oh, we should throw some Parmesan on there. That tastes pretty good still. 
I think you know how people declare meat as murder. I could declare My Little Pony as murder on my brain cells. But not when it's Applejack. Then it cranks up to where it just lowers your brain cells like eighty IQ. So it's okay. Yeah, it's slightly more entertaining. My sister watched it back in the day, and I was like, eh. I watched it. That's why I grow a big brony beard. I'm just kidding. I just enjoyed horses as a lad, you know, riding them and so what so. With my babysitter, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm having a cut now. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Mm, crispy caramel chicken. We gotta flip it and let it cook some more. Oh, yeah. Tasty. Tasty overload. Mm. Doing this all myself without a camera, man. Even though my back hurts real bad, I can do precise tasks for a little while. It doesn't really increase the pain. It's just generally pain, you know. For now, at this point, still, because my friggin' tailbone keeps trying to actually. Um, Straight and fully after the accident. Ouchie. I don't know when that'll finish. In the meantime, at least my skull pain is relaxing somewhat. It's pretty bad at night all the time. Pretty pulsy, terrible headache, but at least I can think a little better. So that's nice. Watch a little more stuff without zoning out, like like a permanent like concussion, you know. It's not so fun. Chiropractors don't want to touch me because my nerves are effed up. I'm a cute boy. Let's put it that way. I'm healing now. As long as I eat my golden chicken, you know what I'm saying, dog. Did I already flip that one? I don't know. Probably. Alright, mm, we'll put it back in the oven. Oh, yeah. Well, here's the finished chicken. I'm putting it in a bag a few hours later after it's cooked. I put it on some pizza and shreds. Uh, came out pretty caramely. Uh, Grant says that he thinks the chicken should need more salt and sweet and really be ridiculously overpowering. Wasn't very salty, I agree. It could use some more salt. Um, didn't put that much. I don't know if I showed you how much I put on camera. I might have done it right after I ran out of battery. Right after I put the, uh, whatever it was. Anyways. Um, it's pretty tasty. It's pretty caramelized and yummy. Um, it's pretty filling, too. I guess that's about all I gotta say. There was something else, but I don't remember, so I'll mention it in another cooking recipe. See you later.